All right, so for this is it jank, we're doing Grand Theft Auto Game Boy Advance. Wow. Grand Theft Auto Advance. Oh boy. I'm gonna start out here with, I don't know, did Rockstar make this? I thought I saw Rockstar in the thing. It feels like Rockstar did it. Grand Theft Auto Advance, action adventure game, published October 26, 2004 mm. by Rockstar. When did uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 come out? That's a good question. That's a good barometer to me. If it was, if this was before GTA 3? 2001. October okay. 2001. Okay. So, so this was after Grand Theft Auto That was III. after for a while. What's the appeal here? Well, I think the appeal here is for any GTA aficionado. There's probably going to be, you know, a handful of folks that liked the top-down version. Yeah. And we're just like, what is this Grand Theft Auto 3 bullshit? Yeah, with the, with the I 3D don't, graphics. I don't need this 3D graphic bullshit. <laughs> so, I mean, there's that. Or, like, people who just want that kind of experience on the go for their Game Boy Advance, and that's what they're into. I bet it had some juice when it first came out, building off of the success of GTA 3. Sure. It probably had, but then I bet there were some folks that got it, and they're like, oh, this isn't... <laughs> this is nothing isn't, like this it. This isn't what I thought it'd be, you know? Not like the PlayStation <clears throat> Portable version of Grand Theft Auto. Right. Was... Oh, that was great. Liberty City Stories? Yeah. Oh, that was fantastic. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Because if you're expecting that, that's this is not that. This is not that, no. But, like, the basic mechanics are there, right? You're stealing cars, you're driving them around, you can hit things, cops are chasing you. It's all there. With the top-down format, it gets too chaotic. It's hard to tell where you're going, where you need to go. It's not as immersive, that's for sure, as, yeah. like, a regular Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, yeah. You got the top-down thing, and you can only see so far in front of you, and you're running from the cops, and yeah. you don't know where you're going, you're going to hit something. Yes, yes. You have to really learn the map. But I mean, if you're if you're into the top down, this is this is quality. I think. I mean, I don't think it's bad. So you're already answering the question. Is it jank? I don't think it's jank. I really don't. I don't um, think it's jank either. You know, I'd almost say this is one of those ones that you'd actually want to seek out if you were a Game Boy Advance collector. Wonder what the price is. Loose, forty-five bones. Mm. <laughs> is it worth forty-five bones? It's loose. This is going to be one of the grails, I think. Probably. Holy crap. So, complete in box, 130 bucks. Oh, I thought it'd be higher. Graded. <sighs> graded $2,027. you graded. <laughs> You're not a fan of the graded. The graded is the jank. But for 45 and complete in box for, for that, nobody actually wants a graded game. If I'm a collector, and I'd want to be able to play the games, you know? Sure. It's not the same as it is with, like, comics is a weird thing, too, because, like, you almost want to read the comic, but then you're That was always like, me. But you're also, like... Do you want to read the, the fucking Spider-Man 300 now that it's fucking... I've seen people do this now where they'll buy a brand new comic and they'll come with a digital download so you yes. don't have to read your comic. Right. right. And, and that like... makes sense. Because, like, if, you have, if you're reading a high-dollar comic book, it's like you're just, like, trying... You're using tweezers with the pages and it's it's a, a big production and it's like you're you're always worried about putting crease in the, in the staples. So what if gaming companies, like the, the grading people said, okay, we'll grade this and we'll give you a digital download of the ROM so that you can <laughs> play the game still. I don't know. You might be onto something there a little bit. <laughs> Maybe. I don't think it's jank, though. I'm, I'm saying I'm saying not jank. I think it's one of the grails. I'm not too familiar with Game Boy Advance. I'm sure there are some that are real high dollar. For me, if I was a GBA collector, this would be a grail. I'd, I'd be real excited to see this complete in box somewhere, and I'd be willing to step up. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, for me, I don't know if it's that good. I think it's not jank, but it's not exactly on my list of, like, must-own games. Hmm. It's good if you're a Grand Theft Auto person and you really like the first two games, grab it. What otherwise. is a must-own game on the GBA? Zelda. There's a Minish Cap. That's a must-own okay. game, I think. Nobody actually wants a graded game. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Kids who wanted GTA, but the parents wouldn't get them the PS1 2 version. We have GTA at home! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just jumped the car. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> See if you can Whoa! <laughs> Damn, son! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what if I went this way? Oh! <laughs> wow, you could really... Damn! Damn! Damn, you lost your calling, man. You should have went in a long jump. <laughs> You'd be a fucking Olympic medalist. 